Tell me the sound of the first sex toy you ever made with. <laughs> yeah. I turn it and on and just goes, like, wee, wee, wee. <laughs> And exactly. I remember thinking, this isn't this isn't how it needs to be. It needs to respond to you. It needs to speed up with you and slow down with you and sync with you. And it needs to act, you know, interact and react with you. And and I remember thinking, this is the future. This is how it's going to be. And at some point, um, I got together a really talented team, and we built it. And we built Hum. I was first working on this, I remember thinking, well, where does where does the sexuality actually come from? And I remember thinking, it doesn't actually come from the toy itself, because that's kind of just a piece of plastic, and that's just the electronics. I remember thinking, it comes from the person using it. And the best way to think about it is just reflect their actions back on them. You know, make it make it sort of sync with them, make it make it move with them, make it vibrate with their motion and their pressure and their touch. When we first started working on this, I realized that we need to go back and redesign the entire thing and build it from the ground up. And we did. It's not just the way we built the internals. We did a lot of 3D printing on that. We had to completely redesign the electronics. And when we did, we put a lot of processing power inside this. We built the pressure sensors, the motion sensors, and the signal processing to bring it all together. So basically, at every single level of the build of this vibrator, these two physicists have invented something new to build it. When we started taking these graphs, we kind of realized that we can learn a lot about how it is that people have sex. I mean, how it is that, what it is that people like, how it is that orgasms work. I put my hand on the prototype and a single fingertip could register. I knew that there was a lot of talk about, like, about men developing an, like an artificially intelligent sex toy, but I had no idea whether or not it was actually sensitive enough to be able to register the sensations that were important for a woman. But when we're talking about being able to register internally the pressure of a single fingertip, you've got everything you need. It actually senses the rhythmic contractions of the vaginal walls. And then the code we've got working on it right now actually picks up those contractions and then, and then it pulses the motors at the exact same rhythm. And then because the rhythm of the toy is reflecting the vaginal contractions, you get stuck in this continuous <laughs> loop. <laughs> and I actually kept orgasming so long that I just had to take it out and say like, okay, I'm done now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's the point where I was like, congratulations boys, you have invented a new kind of sex. <laughs> One of the best things about what we've built, I mean, it's, it's open-ended. We have a lot of amazing stuff inside of it, and we have a lot more to build. And we actually have a community to build. We have a lot of people that we want to involve. That's where we are. We want to bring everybody else into the world that we're exploring because so far it's really fucking awesome. This is not just us building a sex toy for you. This is the world building a sex toy to change sex in society. Yeah.